Savannah, I'm about to go to the store. I need you to watch Brian and Kyrie. Tamika, I am not watching your kids. They are not my responsibility. Damn. Not only do I have a toxic mother, but an abusive one too. One that can't aim. Savon, I've been told you you can leave my house whenever you're ready. And go where? Right! So the next time you decide to tell me what you're not going to do, think about where you would go if I kicked you out of my house. I already have plans. Well, they have been delayed. You will watch my children until I get back. Then you can proceed with your plans. Okay, Tamika. Ma, did I just hear you tell Savon he had to watch me and Kyrie? You did hear that, yes. Since when do I need a babysitter? Since your fast ass had a 23-year-old grown-ass man stop by my house looking for he you. He was 25. Your brother is watching you and I am done with this conversation. Can I at least have my phone back? For what? Savannah has a phone and will contact me if there's an emergency. What are we, five? No, but you are an out of control teenager who needs 24 hours supervision. <sighs> Mama is having Savon babysit us. Mama, you can't even control me. What makes you think Savon can't control me? I will beat his ass. Oh, second thought, Mama, leave them with me. I want to see something. Savon, don't you be in here putting your hands on my child. And Kyrie... I will turn you every way but loose. Test it if you want to. He acts like that because you don't put your hands on him enough. Well, come on, ho. Come put your hands on me. Come teach me a lesson. I don't know about a lesson, but I will definitely teach. Never mind. It is clear that I can't leave y'all's asses alone. I just wanted to go to the grocery store so that I could cook dinner. But you know what? Y'all's asses can go ahead and help yourselves to whatever's in the fridge or the pantry. Or y'all can starve. Savon, what you want to do? Mama is still here. Oh my God. Good morning. Mm, it's really not. Have you decided what school me and Kyrie are going to? You know what, Brian? It is a new year, and I am not dealing with the same nasty ass attitude you gave me last year. Find you a new and better one. Mama, you moved us away from all our family and friends, and you expect me to have a great attitude about that? I did that for us. You did that for you after finding out that Travis was really gay, Grandma Tammy went to jail, all your siblings testified for her, and you testified against her. Now everyone hates you. That has nothing to do with us. Hmm. Well, I am really sorry you feel that way. Everything I do is for my kids, whether you accept it or not. Look around you, Brian. Do you know how many kids wish they could live like you? Being stripped away from everything that I love? <laughs> they can have that. How many boys have I chased out of my house after you snuck them in? How many antibiotics have you taken because you think you're in love and don't want to use condoms? You are 17 years old living under my supervision, acting like a grown ass man, and you are not. Yes, I stripped you away from everything that was bad for you and gave you a fresh start. And I do not apologize for it. Can I have my phone back? No, the fuck you cannot because you are not about to call my family and tell them where we're at. Mama, I'm not. I just want to be able to talk to my friends. I don't trust you. Savannah Kyrie got into a fight yesterday after you left the kitchen. That's why you haven't seen them all day. Their faces are, excuse my language, but fucked up. I'll be your personal snitch again if you give me back my phone. You will also stop giving me a hard time about us moving here. Fine. I'm not convinced. I was saving this for a rainy day, but I need my phone.
Savan gave his baby mama Kenya our location, and he plans on flying her here so that you would be forced to let her live with us. I just thought you should know. Find out everything you know and report back to me. Will do. Hey, Ma, um, can I use the car real quick? For what? Uh, just to meet up with a friend. Lies, we just moved here. You don't have any friends out here, Savon. Was there anything else you needed? You know what, I'm, I'm gonna just take a lift. <laughs> to where? Where are you going? You don't know anybody out here, Savon. Everything you need is inside this house. So where are you taking a lift to? Let me just go ahead and burst your little bubble. I heard that you've been trying to get your little bitch Erica here. And I'm assuming you need the car to go pick her up from the airport. Her name is Kenya and I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, you don't? Oh. Oh. I intercepted her flight that was supposed to land here in the next 30 minutes. I made sure the little bitch couldn't board the flight. Now she is stuck where you left her. You were going to bring that bitch in my home and not tell me, Savon? Ma, she is carrying your second grandchild. I don't give a fuck. You don't want Versace around? So Kenya won't be coming around either. Tired of dealing with your hoes. You know how many bitches I've dealt with last year because of you? Do you know how many abortions I have paid for because of you? Ma, this is different. Me and Kenya are engaged. Oh, then go live with her. I can't. She stays with her parents. Interesting. They don't want you living with them, and I don't want her living with me. She is pregnant, mama. You keep saying that as if it's going to make a difference. She nor that baby are coming up in my house. You are more than welcome to go see her or find a way to live with her. But your shit is no longer coming in my house, Savon. I'm tired. Call me a monster. I don't care. You have put me through a lot last year. And I still let you stay with me at your big grown age. And yes, some of it I did allow. But this year, you won't be putting me through a damn thing. I will kick you out first. Oh, and another thing. If you put your hands on my child again, I will put mine on you. Kyrie swung first. I don't give a shit. You're the oldest and I hold you to a higher standard. Keep your hands off of him. Get out of my kitchen. Is this the charger you was crying about? You can have that shit. I'm gonna go buy myself another one. You can't. I'm gonna take that one too. And just like you got your ass beat over that one, you'll get your ass beat over the new one. For some odd reason, you and Savan both think that y'all have whooped my ass. And I'm still trying to find the whoop because it has not made it to my ass. How are you gonna keep my name out your mouth? Savan, Savan, Savan.
What happens next? I'll deal with you later. No, deal with me now. Brian, did you tell mama that Kenya was coming down here? Because the only person I told that to was you. It was either that or my phone, and I needed my phone. You would have did the same thing. And you would have squared up with me if I did. So get up and catch this fair one. It actually won't be a fair one because I, I want to get active with him too. Y'all are not about to jump me. Y'all both can line it up and take turns catching these hands. Though. Curry, sit your bitch ass down. You over here crying about a charger. I got a real reason to fight. Come on, don't be telling me what to sit. Sit your bitch ass down. Bitch, watch your mother. Savan, how old are you? How old is Kyrie, mama? And where is he at? Why is he not in here with me? Train him to stay in a child's place because he's making grown man decisions and can't handle grown man ass whoopings. What started the fight? I was really after Brian, since he wants to be your little personal snitch and have you stop Kenya from coming, which you failed at miserably. First of all, Brian is not my little snitch. Second of all, How, what do you mean I failed? How did I fail? The bitch is not here. Excuse me while I go get the door. Who's at my door, Savan? Savan, do you know how much traffic I went through to get here? I know, baby, but I could have used the car. And then you had me and your unborn child ride over here in an Uber? What if we got kidnapped? Come on, baby. We will talk about this later. What's the issue? I'm six months pregnant with your grandchild and I'm hearing that you don't want anything to do with me? Oh, now you have nothing to say. Wow. Well, we're engaged. I'm having a baby, his baby, and this is really happening, whether you like it or not. I'm sorry that if me having your second grandchild is making you feel older than what you already are, but that has nothing to do with me. This baby is coming and you will not separate me or my child from my fiance. Savon, please tell me why after I said I did not want her here, she is now in my house. Savon, what are you doing? All that venting that you do? Give it to her. You'll give me anything other than what the fuck I asked you to give me. You're gonna do what? Put your hands on him in front of me? I'll call the cops. Savon, start talking. Savon, don't say a fucking word. Savon, put your mama in her place. Savon, if you attempt to put me anywhere, you will fail and I will successfully put you six feet under. Savon, what? Are you really the man I'm about to marry? You brought me all the way out here for what? Just send me back. Like, you brought me here to watch your mom degrade you? No. Then stand up to her. Tell her what is going to happen from this point on. He ain't gonna tell me a goddamn thing in my motherfucking house. You go learn real quick who I am. Tamika, I already know who you are. You are nothing but a maniac of a mother who abuses her sons mentally and sometimes physically. Uh, so far, what you been telling this bitch? Feeding her all these lies. What the hell is she talking about? Shut up, both of you. Ma. If you don't want me, my fiance, or my unborn daughter here, then we will leave and you will never see me or your granddaughter again. Period. Kenya, this is my mama. And you will not disrespect her in her own house. I did not bring you here for that. Okay, Savon. Okay. Good job, baby. Nah. My mom about to get active. I hope your mom took her meds today. Baby, I just, I just forced you into her life. It's gonna take her some time to come around. Good morning, how are you both feeling?
Mom, are you okay? I'm great. What do you guys have going on today? We were going to go clothes shopping for the baby. If you'd like to come. <gasps> I'd love to come. Okay, mama, I'll drive. Sounds good, son. Oh, I forgot to ask. Can Versace and Louie come with us, Savon? Versace and Louis, as in Louis Vuitton? Girl, yeah, she can bring both handbags. Let me wear one. No, my love. I meant his baby mama, Versace, and his firstborn son, Louis. <laughs> he doesn't have any children. I'm carrying his first child. Do you really have to start making up stuff now, Tamika? I know that's what he told you, my love. But if we're going to be one big, blended, happy family, I think that that should include Versace. It does not include her, mama, and I wasn't ready to tell her. Wait, you really have a kid with someone else? Mm, talk about living a double life, Savon. Let me properly introduce the two of you. Sachi! Kenya, this is Versace, Savon's first love, and the mother of his firstborn. And by firstborn, she means our three-year-old son. Three, three, three. Oh, calm down, sis. Don't go into premature labor. I'm only just the ex that he's completely obsessed with. Versace, I don't care about you, nor am I obsessed with is you. Is that why you failed to tell Kim Wah about me? Her name is Kenya. Kim Wah. Did you know the only reason why you're pregnant and engaged right now is because I refuse to be married and a mother of two? So he went and found the easiest bitch to manipulate into giving him what he wants. Mama, what are you trying to do here? Savon, you seem very upset. I thought you would be excited. I mean, you did open up my home to your fiance. I thought that it would only be fair to open it up to Versace and your son. How could you not be excited about that? I mean, after all, this is my fucking house and I can do whatever I want. So when were you gonna actually tell me, Simone? After I had the baby, after our wedding, after our daughter graduated college? Baby, I'm sorry. What's even more upsetting is that you're already hiding one child and I'm about to bring your second child into this world. Are you going to hide this one too? I mean, what type of father are you? A Debbie. If I needed any advice from the unwanted baby mama, I would have asked. After all, he kept you a secret too, and that is nothing to be proud of. Stay safe and pregnant, sis, because the last thing you need is for me to come over this counter. Was that a threat, you street rat? Street rat? That's a new one. Question, have you ever seen a tiger viciously attack its prey? No, I haven't. You haven't? Watch closely. no violence. Fuck, she pregnant with my granddaughter. She called me a fucking street rat. Hey, you know none of his bitches gonna disrespect me. I'll slap all his bitches. You touch her and I'll kill you. Oh! Ooh. He love you. Look how overprotective he is over you. He used to be like that towards me too. This is too much. Kenya. I need a moment. I'm gonna book a hotel. You see, son... Going against mama never turns out good. You should know that by now. Okay, mama. Hello? Ho. The things that you have lied about?
You testified against your own mother, Timmy. Oh, you shot a man, Tammy. How did you get this number? And what phone are you using in prison? Every time you piss one of your kids off, they gonna expose your shit. Savon gave me your number. Are you using a free road phone? Let me call up there and talk to one of them correctional officers and tell them to do a cell search on you. Tamika, you gonna let your mama sit in jail? Okay, wait till I get that address. What you gonna do from prison, Tammy? Send me a letter. It'll go right in the trash. I'ma send your ass a dead rat because that's what you are. Remember what happened to Versace when she snitched on me? What happened? While you're being a confessional gangster on this state phone, go ahead and incriminate yourself even more. Tell me what happened to Versace. Oh, you bitch. Tammy, give it up. You are right where you need to be. Can't shit hold me, Tamika. Not even this prison. I'm big Tammy. And I'ma get out this bitch. Wait, did you just tell me that you're planning to escape? would not be an accomplice to this. I'm about to call up there and tell them that you are planning to escape so they can throw your ass and say, oh, you bitch. You convict. I hope you know your brothers and sisters hate you for what you did to me. Mm-hmm. When is the last time the COs did a security check? I need them to know that one of their inmates has possession of contraband. <laughs> they do security checks every 30 minutes. And how long has it been since the last one? 29 minutes. Stay on the phone with me a little while longer, mama. Tamika, what could you possibly have to say to me after what you did to me, hmm? Tell me, I'm listening. Wait. You bitch. You trying to set me up so when they pass by and do their security check, they see me on the phone. If and when you get out, Tammy, I hope that you start acting like the senior citizen that you are. At your deteriorating age, you should not be out here shooting people. At night! Is that a cell phone? Down on my luck. Bitch. Back against the wind. Wait till I get out. Try to make it no way to win. Give me that shit and put your hands behind your back. Come get it from me. You are the problem. I'm the problem. You are. Care to explain? Sure. One word. Kyrie. <laughs> it's big Kyrie, bitch. What about Kyrie? You have failed him as a mother. Kyrie is horrible. And you ask why we put our hands on him, it's because of his mouth. And because you don't hold him accountable for the shit he does. And he's damn near 17 years old. Savon, you love pointing the fucking finger. And you love pointing it the fuck back at everybody but yourself. Boy, you better lower your tone before I jump across this counter and fry your ass like some fried chicken. I got the flour, mama. Start frying his bitch ass. Ma, do you not see that you let Kyrie get away with everything? You too, Savon. How? Oh, well, let's see. I didn't touch you when you got a bitch pregnant at 17 years old. I didn't touch you when you decided to get several bitches pregnant shortly after, and I had to be captain abort. I didn't touch you when you laid a bitch down in my bed. I haven't touched you since I found out that you got yet another bitch pregnant, and I still have not touched you even after finding out that you gave that same bitch my address. She was my fiance, mama. Fiance, Beyonce. I don't give a thin up. Like I said, you're the problem. I blame you for what I've done to these women. You enabled it. Boy, you sound dumb as hell. I didn't tell you to go populate the Arsenal. You didn't tell me not to either. Brian, am I lying? Mama's the reason we act the way we act. Oh, I forgot she got your bitch ass on payroll. What did she give back to you, your phone? Or is she letting you see the little college senior that you're not supposed to see? Oh, oh she didn't know. I thought I told you to get rid of that predator. You did. Well, my turned 18 in four days and he's only 24 years old. And so damn old to be dating you. Now get rid of him before I get rid of him and your phone. Okay. So then there's no need for me to tell you that Savon has some heat coming your way. Now I may be a cold ass bitch, but I ain't never been scared of no motherfucking heat. 
So what exactly is coming my way? Mm. Gosh, I can't remember. But I think I might be able to remember if I can still see my boyfriend. You didn't make that grown ass man your boyfriend? I'm calling the cops on his ass. And tell them to stick around because you're gonna need them for my special guest. Savon, if you gave my address to get another person without my consent, they are going to need a search party to find your body. Ha ha, they gonna need one for you too. Because I'm gonna hide your body real good. Grandma, you're out of jail. You like having bitches pop up and fuck up my relationship, mama? Well, I can play that game too. What's wrong, Tamika? <laughs> you look like you just seen a ghost. Savon, not only can you get the hell out of my house, but you can take your grandmother with you. Ma, you started this by taking me away from everything I love. And now I'm giving your ass back because it's clearly too much trouble keeping your grown ass. Look, Tamika, Savan is the least of your worries. You need to be worried about me. Oh, I promise you, I'm not. All I had to do was call 911 and tell them that a convicted felon is refusing to leave my house. And there goes your freedom again. A former convicted felon. Get out of my house, Tammy. Ain't your ass on some type of house arrest? Ma, can all this just stop? Why won't you support me being with Kenya? Because you don't respect me. Oh my God, like, she's having your second grandchild. I don't care if she was having my fifth. Versace, what are you doing here? We cool, but that does not mean you can come to my house unannounced. Yeah, that's cool. But I heard that this old ran through ass bitch was here, so I just had to come pull up. Tamika, you got this green alien fighting your battles now? Why are you still here? You know what? Don't worry about it. I got something for your Since ass. Since when did you become a calling the police ass bitch? You just can't be my daughter. You know what? You ain't even worth it. I just stopped by to say that I'm free and I know where you live. And those two things alone are enough to make you one miserable bitch. Come on, Savon. I just feel bad for Brian and Kyrie. Savon, shut the fuck up. You have left my house countless times and brought your ass right back. So do me a favor. Don't come back this time. Something you want to get off your chest, little girl? Take no rules when it comes to a bitch. I don't even like you, sis. I'm going to put the juice on tour. Come back to the hood with the projects on my wrist. I'm going to go toss Big Mama a brick. Night she was up with her pay off the rip. If it ain't media, family, and close friends, I ain't got to get off my dick. I don't know why these niggas got girlfriends waiting on me to come fill in this spot. Niggas won't be a new Glock on my hip because they know real bitches. Get ass, Grandma. Be a motherfucking ass, Grandma. Fuck her up right now. Curry, who is this? Brian, none of your business. Then I'll make it mama's business. Hey, go ahead. What did it say? She said she ain't going nowhere. Curry, if you don't get rid of it, our mother will kill it. No. You want Savon to get to introduce the people to mama? I want to do it too. Mama don't even take you seriously. What makes you think she's going to take her seriously? It don't matter. Get out of my face before I show mama your Tinder account. Mm -hmm. I'm 18 and grown. All that snitching shit you like to do, it doesn't faze me because I can do what I want. Alright. Uh, that? She's not speaking fucking English. So is she challenged? You know, mentally? No, not gay ass. She said no, she's not gay ass. I'll be right back. Mama, just the person I wanted to see. I want you to meet my girl, Gonorisha. What's her name? Gonorisha. You know, like gonorrhea. Let that come out.
Curry, what did I tell you about bringing strangers in my home? I'm actually out here, girl. Curry, get this mush mouth ass bitch out of my house right now. Oh, Curry, you're my room. As fuck and disrespectful and violent. What you gonna do? Translate. She said what you gonna do. I'm going to grab you by your face, break your jaw, open your mouth wide, and remove the gum myself. Ma, I really like this girl. And you be letting Brian and Savon date whoever they want to date. And then you be letting them in the house. Son, you know how I know you're not ready to date yet? You are currently dating a girl named Gonorisha. That tells me that you do not value yourself. I'm like, okay, I'm like, 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 I'm I just did, you little bitch. Kyrie, I have a headache. I had an interesting day at work, and I come home to my son, who has a tongue-tied-ass bitch in my kitchen. And I'm still calm. Believe it or not, I'm still calm. I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to keep the volume noise down in my house because I like it quiet nowadays. So remove her right now before my purse... You need your job. Hey Kyrie, I understand you don't like to clean up after yourself, but we share a shower and it's dirty. So go clean it. Why the fuck are you on my face talking about a shower you can go clean yourself? Because I'm not the only one who uses it. You're the only one complaining about it. Because I don't want to step in a shower where there's a brown ring around it, you dirty ass little boy. That's your shitty booty ass leaking after you done got turned every which way but loose by your man. Check it out. I'm not going to keep arguing with you over being clean. Get your ass up and go clean that shower. Make me get up, Brian. Make me get up and go clean that shower. I ain't gonna touch you, Kyrie. Because you know I ain't nothing to fucking play with. Now go find you something safe to do. Do I need to go get mama? Do you feel threatened? Is your life in danger? Do you feel like you need your mommy? How do you think it's okay to not clean up after yourself? Brian, have you ever considered that you might be the dirty one, not me? I clean up after myself every time. Start cleaning the booty juice. The booty juice that you leave in the shower. Ma, I am having a hard time getting Kyrie to clean up after himself. Ma, Brian is having a hard time cleaning his booty in the shower. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That bathroom better be clean by the end of the day, and I don't care who does it. What I need to know right now, though, is why does my garage smell like weed? Mine wasn't me. You can drug test me. You can drug test me too. Okay. So if it wasn't you too, then it was somebody y'all brought in my house. Miles. What? Kyrie. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll keep the bathroom clean. It, it was my fault. We can drop this. No, hell no. We ain't dropping shit. Who the fuck is Miles, Kyrie? I was just wondering how many miles your car has on it.
Y'all think I'm stupid? Y'all think I'm dumb? Y'all think I'm clueless? Yeah? Like I ain't been raising y'all for the last 18 years. Like I don't know every trick in the motherfucking book because I know what you said. I don't know who the fuck Miles is, but y'all better find out who the fuck been smoking in my garage. We wasn't smoking, mama. Then find out who it was or I'm playing Candy Crush on both y'all's asses. Ma, y'all parents be saying the freakiest stuff. The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! The blood of Jesus! Aunt Salula, can you stop? You're scaring the boys. Demon. 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 Please do not call my son a demon. Was he ever baptized, Tamika? Did you drown him in holy waters? Kyrie has been baptized. I remember, I remember. I remember because the water turned black. The water turned black and I told the preacher, drown him, drown him, Satan. Drown him, let him loose, let him loose. Romilio. Ah, 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 ah. What language is that, Satan? It's from the book of Harry Potter. Cut his tongue out, Tamika. Aunt Talula, thank you for your visit. Um, I'm sure my mama will be real happy to see you. Mm, no, I, I did not come for that she demon. I came hoping and praying that my Lord and Savior, Jehovah Jireh Nisi, will provide me a place to stay. No, I, I do hope you find that place. I have found it, amen. I have found it. It is here. Here where? Right here in your home, my dear niece. Let him use you. Oh, hey. Auntie, you cannot stay here. Fight! No whipping form against me shall prosper. Hey, it's me, the weapon, and I am prospering. What happened to your house? Oh, the devil evicted me. He evicted me out of my own home, Jesus. But my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, led me here to you. That is a blessing. Amen. Well, I'm going to lead you to a homeless shelter. Big tight vagina. I mean, Jehovah Jireh. A homeless shelter, Tamika. Really? Expect a drama. You be quiet, demon. Your serpent tongue is no match for my holy click. Oh, my God. Aunt Tallulah, please. I mean, my, my holy tongue. Ooh, see, Jesus, this demon has influenced my mind. Jesus, forgive me, I need you. Expelliarmus. Aunt Tallulah, cut this bullshit out before I call my mama and tell her to come get you. And I believe you owe her some money. <clears throat> the devil thought he had me for a second, but I am strong, Jesus. You had me for a second, demon. What room will I be sleeping in, Tamika? A homeless shelter. Are you going against God's plans right now? You know what? I'm not. I'm not. He he touched me. Bless her. He touched me. Bless her, Lord. Use her. Use her right now. Use her, Lord. I'm not going to put you in a homeless shelter, Auntie. No. No. I, I, I am going to put you in an abundance of a hotel for a couple of nights until you can figure out what the fuck you're going to do with your life because you cannot stay here. No, God. No, God. Oblivion. Oh, I rebuke it, demon. My name is Voldemort. God Almighty, Tamika, this is blasphemous. This child should have never been born. Get out of my house, Aunt Tallulah, before I beat your ass. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting a sign. He talking to me. He talking to me. The Lord talking. Oh. Oh. He asked me, the Lord has asked me, to ask you where your brothers and sisters live at because surely one of them will take me in. Hmm. Pick one. I'll send you right their way. Hey, Mom, I'm about to go to the mall with a friend. Are you asking me or telling me? Mama, I'm 18 now. Technically, I don't have to ask you to go anywhere. Oh! Is this friend coming to pick you up? No, he's going to meet me there. Oh, so you must be walking. No. Uber? No. Taxi? I was going to see if I can use your other car. Hmm, so let's start the fuck over. You were telling me that you were going to the mall. 
not asking me, but now you want to see if you can use my car to go somewhere that you did not ask me to go, but told me you were going. You want a way to control me so bad. Control you? Sir, it's my car. I don't have to let you use it's it. It's just sitting in the garage collecting dust. And it will start to collect fucking spider webs if I want it to. You know why? Because it's my car. You know what, mama? We got off on the wrong foot. Yes, you got off on the wrong foot. Let's start over. Yes, you start over. Mom, may I use your vehicle to go to the mall, please? Hmm. Brian. I would love for you to use my car. However, it does not have any gas in it, and you do not have any money to fill up the tank. So, no. That's fine. I'll find my way there without using anything that belongs to you. Ma, you're going to take that. Okay, little boy. You want to be Savon so bad, so I'm going to treat you like him. It is 3.40 p.m., what time do you plan on returning to my house? Before it gets dark. I'm sorry, I don't quite know what that means. Could you please provide a specific time since you're so fucking grown? I sure can. The sun goes down at 7.30 p.m. I'll be back at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. I will be locking my doors at the end of the business day. Okay, and what time is that? You're so fucking grown. You don't know what business hours are, Brian? No, Tamika, I don't. Humor me. God almighty. I will be locking my doors at 5 p.m. 5 that's fine. I'll just call Kyrie to let me in. And I will break every finger that touches my doorknob. Ma, you ain't even have to do all that. You already know I'm not about to let his ass in. As a matter of fact, when he pulls up, I'm going to come get you. Then I'll spend the night at my friend's house and return the following business day at 7 a.m. My house won't be open until 9 a.m. Then I'll go get some breakfast. And then I'll come. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find a ride to the mall. Don't get kicked out my house, Brian. I don't intend to, but you should really learn how to not make everything an argument. You can start by creating a healthy communication with your son. You should really learn how to respect your mother. Your type of respect is me asking you if I can breathe. I'm not doing that. Then you'll suffocate. <sighs> Mama, you set the tone for this conversation. I simply just matched energy. If you live in my house for the free, then not a tone or energy better match mine. <sighs> okay, Mama. I'll see you later. Breathe, Mama. Am I the problem? I just can't be the problem. I'm a damn good mother. I raised y'all right. I don't do anything wrong. Y'all are just so disrespectful for no reason, and I don't understand why. It's not you, Mama. You ain't do nothing wrong. Brian is the problem. I think you should kick him out. Ma, long time no see. We wanted to come and introduce the baby to you. Ma, how long are you gonna hold a grudge? Tamika, girl, every time I see you, you having a meeting with one of his bitches. Can I help you? Yes, I didn't get a child support check from you this month. You don't get those anymore. We had an agreement six months ago. Mm hmm six months ago to be exact. And you have violated our agreement. What was the agreement? Nothing. Versace, you're dismissed. Uh, now, Savon, you know you can't dismiss me. So check this out, Kenya. The agreement was he's been laying pipe for the last six months, and I haven't had him on child support. Now, that was for six months, just in case you can't add or subtract. I can add and subtract just fine. Thank you. And if him playing house with your desperate delusional ass keeps money in our pockets... So be it. Girl, I will beat the fuck out of you. Tamika, if you're going to remain silent and let your chihuahua talk for you, me and Savon can leave. He will need to pay his outstanding balance before he leaves. Or I can expect him at my house tonight. Tamika. Why are y'all here? Oh, you can't speak. Against my better judgment, Savon wants to introduce you to our daughter. Okay, and if I was interested, I would have made an effort to come introduce my stuff. Ma, are you serious? Savon, you cannot disrespect me over and over again and think that you can repair our relationship with a newborn baby. Right, what would it take for me to get my mama back? I will always be your mother and you my son. But right now, mama needs some space, okay? Congratulations on the baby. I'll come around eventually. Hey, man, 
understand. I'm not satisfied with that. I don't give a fuck about you being satisfied, Kenya. Who are you to me? The mother of your grandchild. Girl, that don't mean shit to her. Trust me. You want me to accept this girl when you have snuck her into my home and my life? Snuck? See, that's your problem, Tamika. You keep treating Stevon like he's a child when he's a 20-year-old grown-ass man, not a little boy that you can't seem to let go of. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Let's be real, Tamika. You want Stevon all to yourself. You are an emotional incest mom who can't let him go. Oh, you dumb gullible bitch. He hid you from the world. He is still actively sleeping with his baby mama. He still lurks on his ex Jasmine's page and he's a mama's boy. Mm. That is a lot to process. I start pulling shit out my ass too. Excuse me? Okay, because watch where the hell you're going. Savon, this was a bad idea and a waste of time. I think we should leave. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely leave. Where is the baby anyway? Not that it is any of your concern where my child is, but she is outside in the car. By herself? Of course not. She's in the car with our dog and the AC is on. With, with a dog. Savon, where did you find this brainless ass bitch? Give me the keys. Um, what are you doing? She's fine. She's in the car with the dog. Don't you go anywhere near my child. Girl, sit your dumb ass down before I put you on your back. Give me them damn keys. And you wonder why I treat you like a child. You won't leave a newborn in the car with a damn dog. What the hell is wrong with y'all? He's my dad's service dog, who is more than capable of watching a child. I don't know, Savon. You really hit rock bottom after you left me. I'm sorry, after I left you. you got bitches out here leaving babies in the car with dogs and shit. <laughs> it's real ghetto out here.